there, we're going to talk about how to not quit when things get tough in your business. Because believe you me, there has been many a time over my four or five years now of being an entrepreneur where quitting and getting a J-O-B, it's a curse word around here by the way, but J-O-B would have been a much easier option. And I was asked this question by Lashes by Diamond. She asked, how did you stay focused and not just want to give up as a beginner? or even as a seasoned veteran. How many of you veterans are like, yeah, sometimes getting a J-O-B would be a lot better. I'm going to answer that on today's episode, but first I wanted to share um, an iTunes review. I read all of the iTunes reviews, so thank you so much for those of you who are reviewing uh, and giving us five stars. Um, so this is from Amy Danielle 63 and she said, so helpful. I listen and re-listen to these episodes. Not only does it give me great tips how to build my business, but it has given me tools and insight on how to be more professional, ideas to make more income, and also shines a light on areas of my business I need to improve upon. I work as a solo entrepreneur running my lash business, so it can get kind of lonely sometimes. Listening to the lessons of a lashpreneur helps me to have some guidance and feel like I have a friend and coach along the way. Well, thank you so much, Amy. I really appreciate this. I, I am a words of affirmation kind of gal. That's my love language. So when I read reviews, when you guys send me messages about how I've impacted your life, it helps make this time when I'm just sitting in my office alone talking to a computer actually become tangible, but I am making a difference. So thank you for leaving the review. I would love for you guys, if you haven't yet, please leave a review on iTunes or wherever you're listening or watching this video or podcast. It really does help me to craft content that really connects with you, that is valuable and kind of communicates to me that it's worth doing this because this is a kind of a beast putting all of this together. So thank you again for the review and back to not wanting to quit. How inspiring of a transition is that? Uh, what about things getting hard in your business makes you feel like quitting? We're going to kind of dive into that. We're also going to bust some common perceptions of entrepreneurship uh, that if you are not a business owner yet, that you might be thinking. Uh, and if you're a business owner, you're well aware of these myths being myths. You guys, we're 50 episodes into this. My goodness, that is a lot. I've been doing this since... March of 2018, so a little over a year, and we're 50 episodes in, um, and we're at like 50,000 downloads, which is bananas, so thank you guys for listening, for tuning in, for sharing what you're learning here, I just cannot thank you enough, It's it's been such a fun treat for me to be able to jump on, share my knowledge, connect with you guys, and then jump off and do my, my lashpreneuring thing, so wanting to quit totally normal. In fact, you should expect to want to quit and go do something easier than entrepreneurship or even lashes. For anybody who's been a lash artist for a hot minute, you know it's not easy. It gets easier over time and practice and experience, and the same can be said for entrepreneurship. If you thought that this was easy and you were signing up for easy, let me be the first to inform you, you are not signing up for easy in lashes or in entrepreneurship, and especially when you combine the two. But easy is not what you signed up for, is it? You signed up for satisfaction, independence, freedom, income. So if you did sign up thinking that this was going to be easy for you, that entrepreneurship was the way to go, that lashes was going to be an easy way to make a quick buck, I'm telling you, you're in the wrong industry for the wrong reasons. You can go now. You can go find something that is easy because this is not easy. And please don't think that you're signing up for easy. What entrepreneurship is, is personal development on crack because you have to evolve and change as the business owner because you won't have anybody else to blame for your failures or your lack of success. It's all on you. So you have to grow, evolve, change, become better, do better in order for you to have the success that you want. It's not just given to you. It's not. So for those of you that do feel that it's your calling to be a lash artist and it's your purpose to run a business, whether that's just you as a solo artist, whether it's building out a team, whether it's having a product line, whether it's you know building out something that doesn't exist yet, I'm speaking to you in this episode because you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. I can't take that away from you, nor would I want to. Why would I want to prevent you from learning the lesson that you need to learn in order to become the version of you that has that success? And if you guys have heard anything about my personal journey <clears throat> over the past year, I have gone through the hardest time in my life personally and professionally. And yet after all of that, I would still call the last 12 months of my life a success. 
And I highly recommend going to go list, listen to um, the podcast I was interviewed on called Mind Your Business Podcast, episode 252, where I share a lot about the last year of my life, where it really was the most challenging um, personally and professionally. And I learned a lot of lessons and I'm so grateful for those lessons because now I don't have to learn them again, right? That's the beauty of learning a lesson. If you really truly learn it, you don't have to go through it again. So for those of you who are struggling or when struggles do come up, I hope you'll listen to this episode and be reminded of why you got into this in the first place. Okay, yes, I didn't sign up for easy. What do I do, Tara? My first tip for you is that success doesn't come from quitting. I know, mind blowing, right? For those of the people that you look up to who are successful, do you think we got it right every single time? Do you think we got it right on the first time? Do you think that we think our business is completely perfect and we have no more room to grow? No, I, my business is very imperfect. My business is stressful at times. I struggle at times. I still have a lot to learn. There's something called new level, new devil you've probably heard me um, speak about. That means when you get to a level of success that you were craving for a year ago, you have new problems that need your attention and that need you to become a different version of you or a improved version of you or a more aware version of you so that you can handle those problems better because your business needs that from you. So success doesn't come from quitting. Success comes from not giving up. So I want you to stick through it even when it's tough even when you're struggling, even when you don't know when the next dollar is coming in or when the next client's coming in, or if you have a bad review, or if there is financial problems, or you made a big boo-boo and you think life is over, it's not. Please continue. Your success is inevitable. That's my next tip. If you took the approach and the mindset of my success is inevitable, what does your current problem, struggle, situation look like? Now, with that mindset, if you feel like everything is working in your favor to grow you into who you need to be as a business owner and your success is inevitable, meaning that it's there, it may just be around the corner. It may be one decision away from you reaching the level of success that you're wanting. How do you show up and change how you view this problem? That's totally up to you, but that's the mindset shift that I take when I'm struggling and feeling like, gosh, I'm just getting further away from what I wanted. Okay, who does Tara need to be in this situation? What does the successful Tara in this situation do? What is her mindset? How does she view this problem? That's where tip number three comes in, where what is the lesson you need to learn to grow and evolve to become the business owner you need to be to be successful? Now, that doesn't mean that you don't entertain quitting for a hot minute. In fact, one of my most successful Instagram posts was, you have five seconds to be human and then you gotta be gangster. I might even allow five minutes, but you got to be gangster after that. You can have a pity party for, you know, a couple of minutes, have a pissed off moment, have a cry session, eat some ice cream, whatever you got to do to like feel the emotion of what you're going through. And then you got to buck up buttercup and move on. You can't be dwelling on so many things and so many problems in the past and what you should have, could have done because you can't change that. What you can change is your attitude and your perspective as you move forward to tackle things. And sometimes that means it's messy and imperfect. It's okay, but who do you need to be? What lesson do you need to learn in order to learn that lesson faster and get onto the fun stuff, right? It's never fun learning a lesson, but look at kids. How many times do they fall before they really learn how to walk? Even once they walk, don't they fall still? And once they learn how to run, don't they trip and fall? But they learn, they get coordinated the more they do it. Same thing with your business. The more you do it, the more coordinated you will be, the more systemized and you know the same problems that you had a year ago, you don't have anymore, right? You've mastered those problems. They're not problems anymore. The same thing can be said with life. <clears throat> In your 20s, you have a very specific set of problems. When you get into 30s, you have different sets of problems, hopefully. Or if you become a mom, you have dis different sets of problems problems. When you're a solo lash artist working for an employee, you have different problems. When you become a business owner as a lash artist, you have different problems. When you bring on a team, you have different problems. The problems never go away, but who you are and how you approach problems, that's what you can control. And that's what you can change to where struggling in your business doesn't equate, I need to quit. It doesn't mean that this is clearly a sign that I'm not meant to do this. It can be, this is an opportunity for me to grow 
so that I don't have to deal with this problem anymore. If you bring on a team and you keep having turnover and staff keeps leaving and they keep taking clients, you could easily blame the staff. They're terrible people. Why would they steal from me? They're shady. Or I need to learn a lesson on how to hire more effectively so that I stop getting these types of people in my business. I need to have healthy boundaries in place with client information so I don't worry about staff taking my clients. Who am I showing up to be in a, as a leadership role, as a management role for my team so that they actually want to stay and work for me and make the world go round in my business instead of wanting to take a little bit of a piece of the pie for themselves. That is taking ownership and learning the lesson you need to learn instead of this just isn't for me, I need to quit. So don't look at struggles as this hugely negative thing in your life. It's there to help you evolve and grow, whether it's as a woman, as a business owner, as a lash artist. I mean, how many of you experienced lash artists remember struggling with isolation? We all did, right? But it becomes second nature after you do it enough to where isolation becomes not even on your radar or something that you struggle with. So I want to encourage you that the struggle doesn't mean that you need to quit or that it's even on the radar just means you've got a lesson to learn. So to wrap up, my top three tips for when you're struggling, whether you're an experienced lash artist or business owner or not, is success doesn't come from quitting or giving up. Success comes from continuing to grow and evolve as an individual, as a business owner. I want you to take the mindset that your success is inevitable. It will make these problems feel so much smaller and they'll actually have a greater purpose or a greater good for your life. And also be evaluating what is the lesson I need to learn in this struggle so that I can grow and evolve and become the business owner I need to be in order to reach the level of success that I want to reach. Now, if part of that is becoming more savvy in running a business, is learning what you need to know or knowing where your blind spots are in running a business, I invite you to join me inside of the Lashpreneur Society. We do have a wait list going right now because our doors are closed, but we will be opening them up again soon. You can sign up for the wait list at thelashpreneur.com slash society and get more information there. And I want to make sure that you join me next week. Next week, I am going to bust the myth, a little myth bust in here on the Lessons of Lashpreneur show on I don't have enough time. I'm getting a lot of messages lately about people being strapped for time in order to accomplish all the things they want to accomplish. And I'm going to help give you back some of your time. And so we're going to do a ditch your phone challenge. It's going to be a five day challenge that I'm inviting you to join me on. I'm going to explain it all next week, but I'm going to show you exactly how you can get at least an hour back of your time, if not more. So I invite you to join me in the challenge next week. Until then, happy business building and have a good one.